little bit of breaking news coming into us just a couple of minutes ago. Fed Reserve Board nominee Sarah Bloom Raskin. Remember, we've talked about her nomination to the Fed Board. She has now withdrawn her candidacy after a somewhat partisan showdown, although it was a Democrat, a member of the president's own party, who seemed to have dealt the, the death blow, if you will. CNBC's Elon Mui is on Capitol Hill. And it seems like the final straw was Senator Manchin, right? This has been long simmering drama, if you will, on the Senate Banking Committee. Republicans had opposed her because of her energy policy. Manchin came out yesterday, said he would not back her. The White House just didn't have the numbers, right? Yeah, Hallie, you're exactly right. The votes simply were not there to get it confirmed. And the irony is that Sarah Bloom Raskin had served on the Fed's Board of Governors before she was confirmed by a voice vote. She had also been confirmed by a voice vote uh, as Deputy Treasury Secretary previously. So the White House had thought that this would be an easy win for them. But ultimately, she faced such intense opposition from Senate Republicans over a range of issues, but lately and most specifically about her stance on climate change. The New Yorker had a copy of her resignation letter in which she was unapologetic about believing that climate change presents a risk to our economy and a risk to financial stability and should be something that the Fed takes into consideration. Uh, but Senate, Senator Joe Manchin, that Democrat from West Virginia, said that was just a straw too far for him and he could not support her nomination because of the way that she views energy and because he is so concerned about inflation right now. After he came out uh, opposing her, it became qu clear very quickly that there would not be any Republicans who would take his place to back her, and so she would not have the votes to get confirmed, Hallie.